Hi guys, you all are welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, you all are welcome back to my channel. It's been like what forever since um, a video on YouTube. Yeah, and, um, to all of you that reached out to me on WhatsApp to find out why I've not been posting um, videos. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Well, I've been off YouTube for some time now and that's because I've been out of the country for, you know, for some time. And, um, you know, I would say that I've been lazy to make a video and post. Yeah, I've been actually lazy. Anyways, guys, I'm so excited to do this and I will be sharing my journey with every one of you. So the main thing you know if this is your first time joining thank you so much you're welcome to my channel like i said earlier you're welcome and um make sure you subscribe like this video turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out whenever i post a new video because i'm going to be posting amazing content yes moving forward and um to my returning subscribers thank you thank you so much guys all engagement on this video like leave me a comment share all engagements are welcome guys so guys i'm going to use the normal language we all know and in this Jackpot journey started a long time ago, years back. I always wanted to come here. Yeah. And even when I had no money, even when I had no money, even when I had no support, I just know that one day I am going to leave this country. I don't know how, but I know that I was going to leave Nigeria. Did I say this country? No! <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I meant. I knew that one day I was going to leave Nigeria. Yeah, I was going to leave Nigeria, not this country. Anyways, I didn't know how. So as time goes on, I, I actually I've tried um, US, I've tried Germany, yeah, I've tried Canada. For those of you that were asking me, some of my friends asked me, oh, how do you have so much knowledge about this thing? It's because I do a lot of research. So that's why, because you know, when you want to do something, you would been looking for opportunities you've been looking you'd be searching and so i actually did a lot of research i've tried canada i've tried um i've tried as i was this close guys i was this close seriously because i had a lot of friends i wanted to i also had opportunities waiting for me in the u.s yeah that was my dream but thankfully, yeah, I was like, thankfully, it didn't work out. And after that, I tried Canada. You guys, if you into this, you would know how Canada works. You know, they came back to me after six months. And I was like, oh, home ties, blah, 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 blah. I was like, you know what? I just think, I was, I was at the point of giving up. I am not going to do this anymore so I am um, I relented for a while but I've got this group groups rather where I've been and whenever I see people being congratulated oh it motivates me so I, I go back <laughs> I go back to Chrome and you know I begin I continue from where I stop Anyways, late um, last year, I was like, okay, I don't really like the UK. Yeah. In fact, always when it comes to UK to be home, oh, to come and visit, spend some time with my sister because she's in the UK. Yeah. Anyways, um, late last year, I was, I was like, okay, you know what? I just have to do this. I just have to do this because, I mean, I've been putting in a lot of effort, time, money. 
and most um, people didn't know about this. I've been putting, putting in a lot of things into this. <laughs> okay, so late last year, I was like, okay, let me do this again. And guys, this is this is it. So I <laughs> I um I started my application to the UK. The thing I like about the UK is that they don't take time. In a month, I know there are people, I think I've heard people that their applications take like two months. I don't know. But I know that in a month at least you would know your stand. You get a response from them on like kind of that would take like six months, seven. I know someone of two years is still waiting for response. Yeah. I was like, okay, let me just do this and if I do it in a month, I'm going to know where I stand. So I was about to start my application when I realized that my passport was to expire in, um, in January. Yeah. So I had to put the application on hold and I had to renew my passport, guys. At this point, you know when you've when you've already started something, you know, you would when I went to Kedja, I I was told, oh, it's going to take a while. And I didn't have all that time. I didn't have time to wait. And I told the person that was working for me, I need to get this thing done. Guys. So I was transferred or referred to Ekiti. So I traveled from Lagos to Ekiti to get my passport renewed. Guys, don't ask me how much I pay. I paid a lot of money. Yes. I paid a lot of money. For Daike, a bit. <laughs> a bit because that was my hard end money, you get. But at the same time, I know that, oh, if I use it for what I want to use it for and it comes out positive, I mean, I wouldn't even remember the money. And that was the same thing my sis was always telling me. Whenever, <laughs> whenever money issue comes up, I'll think about it. And she'll be like, hmm, you don't spend this money because when this thing works out now, you will not be thinking about all this money you spent. And that's the truth. When I paid good money for my passport at the kitty because I was going to be out, as I was told, it was going to be out in two weeks. But two weeks found into a month. a month turned into two months i was going crazy i was this um very funny person at work i usually have mood swings so um during that period they didn't know that my mood swings were because of that at times i would leave my my post at work i'll go to the Trying to call them at the kitty, what is going on? <laughs> at the point, they were telling me there was no booklet. I was like, you guys tell me there was no booklet. <laughs> it's actually it's funny now, but then I was not laughing. I was angry. I was not laughing. That money was a lot. And you guys gave me a time frame. It has passed that time frame. Now you guys are telling me, oh, no booklet. Then you guys came again and said, oh, the government, this is the government that you guys know how. The system in Nigeria is. I don't know. I don't know how to 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 say much on that. So I was like, anyways, while I was doing all of this, I was praying. I was fasting. While I was doing all of this, of course, I put in a lot into this. Please, you know, just for my passports to be out, and finally, it was out. I received a mail. Um, um, a text message. I also received a call because I, I got contacts from AKT and I was like, okay, please just call me and all of that. So I got contact from AKT. So when he was ready, they called me. He called me. Yeah, he called me and he was like, oh, my passport is ready. I should come for collection. I was like, oh, thank you, bro. Can you send it over? He said, no, that I have to come in person for documentation purposes. So I was like, Anyways, guys, so I, you know, that was an unplanned expenses 
getting a boss to a kitty in the wedding plan for all of that. Anyways, after much persuasion for them to send it down to um, people, they were like, no, they cannot do all of that. They can't send it. I didn't have any choice. It was that important to me, so I had to go to. I had to go to um, AKT to get my passport and after I did that, the moment I held the passport in my hand, guys, I was, <laughs> it was just um, relief, bit of relief I had. I said bit of relief because the passport has not stood its purpose. It not okay. Anyways, it was just bit of relief. I was excited. I was excited. So I got my passport, I did the old um, town meal thing, and I passed it on to the team. And I left to next day. For the years, I, the moment I got to Lagos, I think about two or three days after I got to Lagos, I began my application for me. I stopped looking. Okay. And after I did all of that, I submitted, and that was when the real prayer started. Mm. <laughs> you guys have not seen me when I pray, God. I was praying. I don't sleep at night. You know, even at work, while I'm while I'm working, I was always praying. And when I'm talking to my colleagues, I was always praying. Most times, I walk. I don't know, there was a period I woke that I didn't feel fast at all. I went to ask them, I'm not hungry, or I don't like this food. So my colleagues would relate to that. I'm not hungry, or I don't like this food. And, but they didn't know the reason for that. I didn't tell them. Yeah. So it was just me and my God at that point. So I was like, okay, let this be serviced. Let's go. Positive. I was. I was praying. I was praying. I was, I was trying so hard to be positive at all points in time. So at that point, I, I made sure I was careful with your needs. Yeah, that period of time, I was careful. I was in a holy mood at that period. Everyone who has been through this journey understands. Anyways, I was praying and this particular day I was at work. I was supposed to go up because we moved from Lagos, we moved to Mumbai. Uh, so most of the time I always I go home with friends. Yeah. But on this fateful day, I was supposed to go home. I was contemplating, can I go home with friends? I was like, well, what's the essence of going home and coming back in the morning because whenever I go home like that I'm not to go through the day because if I don't wake up by that time get dressed and get to the father or get to the bus stop I am not going to meet up I will not meet the staff bus I will not meet up with the staff bus so I was like there was no point I would just sleep over the, the tomorrow or weekend I'll so I was inside the hall with my colleagues and feasting. I was even settling one small misunderstanding that just happened though. One small fight between my my friend and our boss. But I was still like, you know, trying to that was how I left there. I went to sit in the room and I was praying. I went to sit in the room and I was like, God. So I picked up my phone, I saw a man and I was like, you know, documents, your traveling documents is ready for collection. Come to me. <sighs> said no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't read this thing very well. I opened the mail, I put it and I was like, <laughs> okay, I no no no. I didn't understand the English I was there at that point. I sent, I folded the mail, I took a screenshot and sent it to my my sis. I was like, I could just receive this mail, I don't understand it. I let me read that, we can know it me and they talk. And then it was, it was past four. The boss leaves 5 15. 
So I was like, I don't want to stand with him at all. She said, ah, ah, they said my passport is ready. I should go. I said, what? <laughs> that was how I screamed. All of my colleagues have told her I'll be sleeping, you know. I said, you know what? Sleep on my bed. I am going to. And I said, bala bala. And I was like, uh -uh. Well, I said, don't worry, please, I have to go home. I'll come back tomorrow, but I have to go home right now. There's something I need to do. And the, the, the things I need to do for that thing, they are told that I have to go home. So I just, you know, I just pack my charger. I'm always charging my phone. I'm always on my phone. So I pack my chargers. I, I just pack myself and I was fit. And I almost missed the bus. Anyways, and the reason why I went home was because the document, my data page, and all the documents I would use, I left them at home. I didn't everything. So that was what I had to go to, to pick them up. The next morning, I, same routine, I woke up as early as I could. I followed the bus back to work. And from there, I went to a carriage house and went to the And, you know, guys, the devil wanted to use him so bad in the Okay, I took a bus from, from, for stay. Get it for stay. Get it for stay. What is going on? Is going on? And then getting to Costain, I was like, no. The devil wants to use himself to think of me. There were no buses going to Ikeja. There were no buses. And you know now, that kind of a thing. I was restless. I was restless. <sighs> Finally, a bus came. There were lots of traffic on the road. God. So, <laughs> I got there. I, I went in. I collected my passport. And ah, I, I didn't want to open it, you know. I didn't want to open it. I was like, no, I'm not going to open this. So I said, okay, you know what? I am going to, I'm just going to do this. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. So I just got my passport from TLS office and um, I want to unbox it to you all. Today being the 25th of January, 2023, I applied, I did my biometrics on the 13th of January. That was like two weeks back. And I got a mail yesterday, being 24th of January, telling me my travel document is ready. I should come for collection. I was like, this is not even up to 15 days. Anyways, I'm so excited because I prayed. I told God. When he told me 15 to 60 days, I was like, what? I said, God, please, let's break all protocols for my sake. And, you know, it's everything is working in my favor. So, guys, let's just get right into it. God did it. I'm so thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Oh, Jackpot season. It's my Jackpot season. You guys, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to carry you along with me on this journey, you know. How I unpack, pack, everything, everything. We're doing it all together. So, guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Bye. And then, um, guys, on opening my passport, I saw that my visa has been approved. <laughs> I didn't know how to react. Trust me. At this point, I did not know how to act. I didn't know if I should roll on the floor and tell God, if I should jump. If I, I didn't know. I was I was crying. I was laughing. I was full of excitement. I was full of so much joy because it's been God all the way. Yeah. He showed up for me at every point through this process, guys. You guys will not understand. I I must have said it in a very simple and easy way, but 
there were times during my application i was like you know what i am tired but god put people people i need at every stage of my application i had people who came through for me but my boss mr anu yeah he did a lot for me and i'm so grateful i am so so grateful thank you so much sir if you're seeing this video thank you so much so god put people for me at every stage at every point of my application people were always showing up for me there were times that i was i felt you know i can't do this anymore and god would just show up show up for me just like that so guys um that is it really i i, I want to thank you for watching i i will see you all in my next video guys um, i just to all those who are awaiting their um, application i wish you guys all the best yeah i pray it comes out successful yeah and um best of luck seriously to you all out there who are waiting your your application and um, result i wish you guys the best of luck i pray your application is approved yeah <laughs> so guys thank you so much for watching i've come to the end of this video guys <laughs> I will see you all in my next video. If you're watching and you're yet to subscribe, I don't know what you're still waiting for. Seriously, you really should hit the subscribe button right now. Like this video, share this video, <laughs> share this video, share you, share my good news, and um, leave me a comment. You know, and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys love you